So a customer complained is uh, second air injection is setting fault codes for both banks, bank one and bank two. And I already had new combi valves installed. They're back there. Can't really see them. This is the vacuum control valve or vacuum control solenoid for the combi valves. So, and this is vacuum feed from the intake manifold. This is only getting five inches of vacuum. This should have this should have manifold vacuum all the time. Um, and then this solenoid this solenoid allows the vacuum to go to the combi valves. When I pump up the combi valves, vacuum is held, so I know the combi valves, or at least up to the diaphragms, everything is good. Uh, what I will be doing is running the pump and activating these, and then I'm going to watch fuel trim just to see if fuel trim comes down or uh, if fuel trim becomes active. Uh, but this is way too, this is not enough vacuum here. So somewhere along here, there's a, um, there's a restriction, and I have a feeling it's this guy here. I'm just going to take this guy out of the equation. All of this is is a one-way check valve. It's a little bit better, but I think there's still a restriction that should be pulling more vacuum. Doesn't really sound like a lot here. The hose is clear. Should probably get my bore scope. Can't tell, so I'm just gonna blow some air in it, see if that makes a difference. Try manually first. Nope, that feels pretty good. Uh, which way was this now? Actually, I'm going to leave this connected like this, and I'm going to run output tests and see if it passes. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Just going to double check one more time to make sure how much vacuum it gets. This thing could also be leaking vacuum. Um, yeah, see, there you go. So it, it does have good vacuum, but something along the line is leaking. And most likely it's this diaphragm here, because this one wants to do something. This one doesn't want to do anything. You can see it, uh, it's sort of collapsing, but not much. So what I can do is I can plug this side.
And you see now it's coming up to 20. And that's because this guy here is uh, disconnected. And that one, look at how far this one goes in now. So there's a problem with this solenoid most likely. Um, I don't think it's a problem with the diaphragm because uh, otherwise it wouldn't collapse. So this is lots of vacuum now for this secondary air to work correctly. And if I reconnect it, you can see there's only 10 inches. And this valve, just to make sure that this one-way valve is working correctly. This one-way valve is also working correctly. Okay, so now I'm going to run output tests. Plug this back in. So again, we get a nice 20 inches of vacuum. It's still building a bit slow, but uh, that's all right. And uh, I'm going to see if it passes second air now.
It's just a quick follow-up, um, as you saw in the video, second year past um, uh, readiness. But it's this vacuum chamber, actually, that's or the pod that's no good. I'm going to suck on it, and you'll see it wants to move, but it won't. It won't collapse all the way. So it doesn't. So the solenoid is okay, but this guy is not. Uh, as a comparison, hopefully that'll fit on here. You can see that one holds a vacuum, so it needs a vacu vac vacuum pod uh, for the intake runner, changeover valve.